really fun. How you doing? You tuned in to Throwback Talk with V Fox, and this is Monday Night Edition. You caught me in the middle of getting a little juiced up, and you asked me why? Because it's Dallas Week. Hold on a second. All right, so this is more like it. Now let's talk about this game. We're talking about the home opener for the Cowboys and the first road game for the Redskins. And it's on the biggest platform in pro sports in all the world. Monday Night Football. There's no hide now. Everybody's going to be watching. It'll be an opportunity for both teams to showcase what they're all about. Now, it goes without saying, this is going to be a tough game. These teams don't like each other. Everybody knows that. Always have, always will. They, they just don't like each other. And so this game is going to be a tough match. And ironic enough, the Cowboys have been in two tight games already. Both of the scores ended the same, 27 to 24. One of them went into overtime, and they came up short in one, and then they were able to pull off the other one. So that goes without saying. It's going to be a hard-fought match. I don't care what it looks like. Now, last year we split down the middle with these guys. We went one for one. They won one, we won one. And now here's a new year, a new opportunity to set the tie. Now, the thing about it is these guys have won 20 of the last 27 meetings that we've had against them. So it's time to turn the tide just like we did against the New York Jets. Giants. Now, Vern's view of the week. I want to tell them something. That, now, guys, if you're listening, I want to tell you something that my coach taught us in college. Fresno State Bulldogs. Roo, roo, roo. Anyway, there was something we went by, and it was this. 1-0, that's all that matters. So, let's not get focused on the fact that we're 2-0, on the fact that we have an opportunity to go 3-0, looking ahead to the future and the playoffs. Let's just focus on being 1-0 at the end of Monday night. 1-0, that's all that matters. Let's remember that, okay? Now, let's talk about our team. Right now, we had a rough game last week. We all know that, but we're 2-0. And really, you know, I say 1-0, that's all that matters, but it's a big deal that we're 2-0. It's not a lot of teams that are 2-0. But let's look at what we need to do to win this game. Offensive line, we got to keep people out of Rex's face. There was a lot of batted down balls last week, so we got to protect him. We got to protect him in the pocket, and we have to protect the ball. We can't throw away the ball. We can't uh, throw interceptions this week. We just got to protect it, and we can't turn it over, period. Uh, we got to establish our run again. Hightower's been having solid games, but we want to have him have a breakout game this week. Our receivers have been great. Uh, everyone's The ball's been thrown around, and, and people have been showing up big. Uh, Fred Davis, the guy's been consistent. Uh, Cooley, he's a stalwart. So we have all of these people on the offensive side of the ball that is helping the show go. And then we saw Helu come in and pick up the slack and do some good things for us. So I think we're good on the offensive side of the ball, defensive side of the ball pressure everywhere. We're, we're hitting quarterbacks, we're getting to the ball, we're getting interceptions, we're getting turnovers. All of those things are huge. I think we had two last week, an interception, uh, the fumble, and the fumble recovery that won the game for us. So all of those things are huge and we have to keep doing those things. Um, many of our players are getting national recognition. Otagwe, uh, London Fletcher, of course, and then our boy Brandon Banks. Now, now, let me tell you this. I had to pick up Brandon Banks on my fantasy team. The dude is averaging over 20 points a week with the returns and the things that he's doing in the special teams game. So, I got you on my team, man. I want to see you do some big things for me. Now, Romo, ugh, he's hurt. He's banged up. If the guy's going to play, hey, he's going to get beat down because we got some people that will bring the thunder. We got our boy London Fletcher, the Kerrigan. You know, we got all those guys. And, of course, our guy on the other side of the Redskins correspondent team, Rocky McIntosh. Those guys don't play when it comes to hitting quarterbacks. And if he wants to go out there and he wants to play, he's going to get beat up. All right. Now, let's talk about them. They're a good team. Um, they're top five in, in the offensive and total defensive category, so we have to respect that about them. Um, they're, throwing, they're throwing and running for over 400 uh, yards of total offense every week. And then on the defensive side of the ball, um, they've held the run to about 60 yards a game. So we're averaging about 123 yards uh, a game rushing, so we just got to keep that going, and I think we'll be victorious. Uh, they got guys on the defensive side of the ball that can play. Um, Brady James, Terrence Newman on the back end. They got talent over there. That's never been a question. Um, it's just a matter of us uh, neutralizing those guys and taking advantage of the things that they will allow us to take advantage of. And their O-line is huge. We always know that. And guess what? Guess who's on the other side over there, man? 
We got Derek Dockery, offensive tackle. He's a backup OT on the Cowboys. So, Derek Dockery, man, a guy that everybody loves. You know I love you, Derek, man. And everybody in the locker room at Redskin Park loves Derek Dockery. But guess what? You're in the enemy's quarters right now, man. So, we'll holler at you after the game. You can meet us out in the 50-yard line, we'll pray together, uh, you know, hug you and everything. But, as for now, we're not cool, bro. So, sorry. <laughs> um, our, our injuries of the week. Um, Josh Wilson, the injury with his back. Um, he practiced a little bit, so hopefully we can get him back out there. And then everybody's concerned about LaRon Landry. Um, we're taking it easy with him. Uh, he practiced a little bit, but we're making sure that he's 100%. And I heard Shanahan say that he wanted to make sure that he was in game condition. Man, Landry cracks me up, man. The guy said a quote this week. He said that the defense is like a big gumbo, and he's like the cayenne pepper or the hot sauce. He want to be on fire when he comes out there. You got to leave it up to somebody from Louisiana to say something like that and to use a gumbo analogy so I see you Wody by the way Wody that's what we call him uh, if you don't know what that is you might want to look it up it's, it's just a uh, Louisiana vernacular it's just a way of uh, you know addressing another friend so Wody we looking for you to do some great things when you get back out there um, big shout out to London Fletcher man this is his 211th consecutive game man and when you play the way he plays the game and do the things that he does you got to give that guy a hand come on man Come on, wherever you are, stand up and give him a hand. That is a major accomplishment, man, and we congratulate you. Now, my fantasy tip of the week, I got to go with Santana Moss. The dude is just a cowboy killer. Um, I think in 12 games against the Cowboys, he's had 73 catches for 1,055 yards and six touchdowns. And who can forget the game in 2005 in the fourth quarter where Mark Brunel threw him two touchdowns to win the game? We can't forget Santana, you're our fantasy pick of the week. Now, lastly, our throwback item of the week, and it's a lot closer than you think. Check it out. This is a game ball from 2006. Here's the date, November 5th, 2006 versus Dallas. And this is the game, if you guys can remember, you remember where Troy Vincent blocked the field goal in overtime. Sean Taylor picked it up, got us in field goal position. We kicked the thing in one. This is what it is. Throwback item of the week. So, let's go get it done, guys. I love you, man. Let's do it. Redskins, Dallas week, Monday night. Ah! Catch me every week for pre-game and post-game analysis and everything in between. God bless.